Hey, Chicago City Lifers, Facebook buddies, those watching on YouTube, it's Pastor Moody, and we want to welcome you to our evening service here at Chicago City Life Center. I just want to share with you some brief announcements. Um, every Tuesday, we have men's um, Bible study at 5 p.m. We have women's Bible study at 5.30 p.m., and then we have youth service at 7 p.m. So we hope that you'll be able to join us. If you would like to be a part of it, but do not want to meet um, in person, please let us know and we will send you a Zoom link where the women will be meeting. If you're a man, uh, we'll try to get you hooked up as well. Um, also, um, Wednesday at 7 p.m., we have our Zoom prayer meeting. We believe this is the most important time of the week uh, where we sit down and pray and just pray for one another, pray for our city, pray for our country. Um, so if you're available, we'd love for you to join us on Zoom at 7 p.m. And then also on Sunday, we have um, this Sunday is going to be special. Um, service is going to begin at 10 a.m. Let me say that again, 10 a.m. We will not have service at 1130 a.m. It will be at 10 a.m. So please put that in your calendar. Put that on your your um, your timer. Let you remember that we're not going to meet at the regular time. So we will meet at 10 a.m this coming um, Sunday. So we'd love for you to be a part of that. And then this Tuesday, my message is gonna be a little shorter than usual because I am running out of time. I have a lot of things that I need to do. But today is Advent Tuesday. Advent Tuesday, I just wanna share some scripture verses, some things that we can ponder and think about. Um, as I've been sharing the last two weeks about Advent, that Advent is a time um, really prepare, prep, preparing ourselves um, for the coming of the Lord. So Jesus already came. I want us to begin to even look towards the future where Jesus is going to be returning again for his church. So in the book of Matthew chapter 9, I just want to read with you um, a couple of verses that shares about this Advent Tuesday. So it's found in chapter 2 verses um, 10 and 11. And it reads, When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Today, I want to speak about joy. Um, how much joy um, did the people get? when they realized that they were sitting with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Imagine the joy that Mary must have felt um, seeing that these wise men, these astrologers would come with such precious gifts for a baby. Who brings gold to a child? Who brings frankincense to a child? Who brings myrrh for, as a gift for a child? But all of these things representing something that God wanted us to know, the gold representing um, royalty, the frankincense represented the priesthood of who Christ would be, and the myrrh would, would represent his burial, his death um, for the sins of the world. And I, we, they probably didn't quite understand what it meant then, but as those of us who's walking in Christ right now, how much joy should we have knowing that Jesus Christ came as our king, came as our priest who's interceding for us, and that his death and resurrection has reconciled us back to God. So even during this season uh, with the lights and the glamour and all these things that's going on in this season, let us remember this, that Christ came for us. Amen. He came for us to reconcile us back to God. So the joy of the Lord shall be our strength. I know that we're in a season right now um, with so much tension, with the political, with the racism. Um, but I believe as believers in Jesus Christ, there should be something with inside of us that's bringing more joy than who the president of the United States is um, or the decisions they're making. We should be holding on to the joy of the Lord that Jesus Christ has come to this earth to save us. And that one more thing, that Jesus Christ is also going to return for us. 
So let us set our hearts on those things. And I believe with all my heart, if we begin to set our hearts knowing that Jesus Christ has come to this earth to save us, if we begin to set our hearts on those things and begin to prepare our hearts for those things, I believe that the joy of the Lord will be inside of us. And the things that's going on around us that make us happy or the things that make us sad, those things will not matter as much. So let's be um, like John the Baptist who was going out and sharing the word with people to prepare their hearts for the way of the Lord. Let us be those people by demonstrating the joy of the Lord. And because of that, that people would recognize because of this joy that we have, it's not because of these temporary things that we have. It's not because of the money. It's not because of the material possessions. It's because of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords have come for his church. So I pray that this word will encourage you today. Please remember, continue to walk in the joy of the Lord. God bless you.